old skate mags. We've been doing, uh, what is it, seven, eight seasons? Is that it? Eight seasons? Um, and it's a miracle we haven't done it sooner. We, uh, we got the archive of Skateboarder Magazine and we're going to put it up on the internet so that you can read them cover to cover. You know, you can see who won the uh, Catalina Classic. Um, welcome back to The Letters. I'm your host, and this is Classic Skate Mags. No, what I don't understand, you want the wrong? At age nine, where do they, under, where do they learn where all of these little... These magazines. Parts yes, come from. Yeah, Skateboarder. Uh, Dave Dash, editor of Surfer, also publishes the widest selling skateboarding magazine. The first time we spotted the potential was about November of 1974. We did a little research amongst our advertisers who were presently advertising skateboard products in Surfer and uh, asked them if they would be interested in advertising in a skateboard publication. There were no videos, there's no computers, there's no cell phones, there's no nothing. There's only the magazines. This is where you saw everything for the first time. Wild World Skateboarding, which was like a rag, and then there was Skateboard World, which was like the second tier, and then there was Skateboarder Magazine that seemed to be like the upper enchilons. Is that how it was? That's how it was? <laughs> That's what it was like, basically, like, beam away on a nose wheelie. Stoked. 50 years from now, no one's going to be able to hold a website. You're not going to be able to find anything on a skate website from 50 years ago. But here, you're going to find this kind of stuff with print. Check out my magazines. Skateboarder magazine. That's it. Yeah. that magazine you see what I'm saying Brad Bowman with the blonde hair you know the surf icon you know he's like fucking Brad Pitt <laughs> yeah, yeah right he's actually even cooler than Brad Pitt I think Brad Pitt pales <laughs> in comparison to fucking to, you know. to Bowman oh For come sure. on Brad, Brad Bowman yeah. remember that front side of picture yeah, yeah. Dick. yeah. <laughs> oh, holy shit yeah. the front side Ollie yeah. he's like looking at Fuck off, bro. <laughs> you really think you can ever be that cool? No way! <laughs> the only motherfuckers who can be that cool straight out of Hollywood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's no joke. I like the uh, Greg Weaver cover of the first issue that came out. It's just like, whoa. Dude's in the pool. I, I, this is the first pool I ever went to, so. I swear I was in the tiles on this. <laughs> yeah, the original with, with, with Greg and, and that was a, just a classic cover. I mean, I think that stoked everybody's on um, skating pools and that. You know, there was really sick photos of Greg Weaver too. There was a good cover of him doing a front side kind of roll out, front side kind of almost lip slide, kind of early Smith grind. There were some really good photos. Then there were some really shitty photos like all of the ones in my interview. Whoa. 
we're out at the uh, Skate Lab, Todd, Todd Huber's Skate Lab in uh, Simi Valley, California to take a look at his collection of skateboard worlds. Huh? You like that? Check that out. Early Bertelman hot shot. I heard from another friend that they were going to come out with a escape magazine. When when they finally told me, yeah, you're you're, we're going to hire you. I went off, shit, killer. Yeah. And then they go, well, can you write? And I said, no, I I kind of suck writing, but my brother's a really good writer. And they go, well, we'll have him call, give us a call. He comes home, and he goes, guess what? And I go, you got the job. He goes, yeah. He goes, they hired me as associate editor and I'm your boss. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I go, oh, man. That's what started out the skateboard world. Skateboard world was kind of a, when the competition came along, like a fresh drink of water because if you had a spot, those guys were stalling. You know, because they were the competition. They wanted to be, they wanted to put the shit out first. Were they, they wanted to, skateboard world? Skateboard, they were like, they were from the valley. Okay. You know, and they took plenty of grief for it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Hard rock beat, confident feet, feeling is real, a magic unique. Life in the fast lane or laid back with grace, win, lose, or draw, it's a dance, not a race. <laughs> at the ads whether it was a top-notch company or a, comp a company you never heard of this is everything man every this is the first you see of anything of any sort of uh, part of a skateboard wheels the first indie ads you're just mesmerized by it you're glued to it quite possibly one of the greatest ads ever done in skateboarding his My weed is legal yes <laughs> this is volume 5 number 7 February of 79 1979. Dude, uh, there it is, right there. Alva with the greatest ads. If you weren't skateboarding, you should put a plastic bag over your head and <laughs> suffocate yourself. <laughs> 1979 is the best year in skateboarding. Or one of the best years. My favorite year of skateboarding. Better than 78, huh? Hell yeah. Way better than 78. What's the difference? I don't know. But, <laughs> what's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> What's the difference was just the pictures in the magazines were so good. Boards are 10 inches wide plus, flat with a kicktail. Skate parks are lit up at night. The buzzcocks are playing on the radio. <laughs> Half shirts. Half were shirts were in. It was such a fucking totally awesome, magical time in skateboarding. And so we wanted to show you the magazines. Put them all on the uh, interweb for you so you can go through each and every one and read all of the insanity and trip out on the birth of skateboarding. Thanks and for watching. Fitzism. See you next time. Enjoy. See you next time. Go skateboard. Turn it off. Fuck me. Get out of here. Go ride. All right. Late.
what how what huh you're confused you're alone it's saturday night you have no pants on click here to watch more love letters to skateboarding